Capitol was held to honor those victims with a message, very clear message, and that was to put an end to gun violence. The father of one of the victims, Jantaya Alexander, placed a memorial along K Street in memory of his daughter, who was out with her sister the night that, that shooting happened. Another victim, Emil Martinez, was also out that night. She was celebrating her birthday downtown with friends. The two 21-year-olds were gunned down on the same corner right near 10th Street. Police also found the body of 57-year-old Melinda Davis about a block away from where that shooting happened. Police alleged that the women were caught in the crossfire of men with rival gang affiliations. Hatred doesn't do anything but spread like wildfire, destroy innocent people. And that's what their hatred did, destroy innocent people. Three other lives were also lost, but police say that they believe they took part in the shooting. Another vigil was held tonight at 4th and J Streets, remembering that deadly attack. And that's where we find Fox 40's Rowena Shaddix live for us this evening after hearing from a few people who had the opportunity to speak at the event today. Row. Well, Nikki and Eric, there are family and friends of some of the victims that are behind me. It's hard to believe that an entire year has passed since that tragedy happened. The woman you're about to meet, I stood with her as she waited several hours, not knowing if her son was dead or alive. It was exactly a year ago today that six people died and a dozen others were left injured in a shooting along K Street in downtown Sacramento. Among the dead were three men who investigators say took part in the shooting involving rival gangs. Today, community activists stood with the family of Sergio Harris to lend their support. This is what it's all about. So when we want to go ahead and talk about narrative, and we want to talk about why, and we want to talk about who's at fault, and we want to talk about who shouldn't have done what, why, and when, this is the reality. This is the person you're talking about. He had children. He had a mother. He had a father. He had siblings. His life mattered. And all of their lives matter. These are my grandkids. These are Sergio's children. And now, you know, they don't have their dad. We don't have our son. And people want to walk around and say, oh, he was such a bad person, but you didn't know him. You didn't know what he was to us and to his kids. He's not no gang member. He was our son. He was their father. And I don't care what anybody say. He's going to always be in our heart. He's going to always be missed, and we're going to always love him. But what we would like to see is the same type of sympathy you show for other mass shooting victims, the same type of care and empathy you show for other victims of mass shootings, whether it be the Sikh Temple or Nazareth or whatever. These families deserve that same sympathy and empathy, too. City Councilwoman Katie Valenzuela says the city has accomplished much since that day in working to make things better, but says much more needs to happen. The folks that are out here today supporting these families, they often do that with no money. They come out at 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, they stay all night, they stay all day, they sit with those families as long as it takes, and they do it because it's what's needed, and we need to invest in what's needed. You know, violence is, is very preventable. It comes down to investment, and it comes down to access to opportunity. And so our fight moving forward is not just to improve the lighting or to do one step or another. It's to make sure that we're investing in the communities that are hurting. And police arrested three suspects in this case. They are still awaiting trial. Reporting live from downtown Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.